So the 42-year-old Russell Waddell was shot and killed in his home on French Street early yesterday morning. You were out there reporting on that, I believe. Yeah, you know, Antoinette Boyd and Leandra Jones, they were arrested yesterday. Boyd is charged with murder and armed robbery. Jones is charged with possession of a firearm by a convicted felon in connection with this case. Now, picking up the story today is Channel 4's Chris Parento. Chris, you're live at JSO this morning. Um, can you tell us any more about the women? Bakari, both of these women have lengthy arrest histories here in Jacksonville with the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, and they'll be in court here at the Duval County Jail scheduled for 9 o'clock this morning. First, let's take a look again at these most recent charges for each of these two women. 24-year-old Antoinette Boyd, again, charged with murder and armed robbery in the case of Russell Waddell, who was shot and killed in Murray Hill yesterday morning. 44-year-old Leandra Jones is charged with possession of a firearm by a convicted felon in connection with this case. We've also found that Boyd has three prior arrests here with the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. Just three months ago, she was arrested for not having a driver's license. Last year, she was arrested on a warrant for prostitution. This is Jones' 11th arrest by the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office that we found. Most recently, she was arrested on drug and weapons charges last year. Other charges for her with JSO include battery, aggravated assault, and petty theft. Early yesterday morning, police were called out to a home on French Street in Murray Hill, and when they got there, they found 42-year-old Russell Waddell dead with a gunshot wound. Investigators say they talked to four people inside the house trying to figure out how this shooting happened. Neighbors yesterday told us they don't normally see this type of crime in that area of Murray Hill. Again, these two women scheduled to go before a judge here at nine o'clock, so a little bit less than an hour. I will be inside the courtroom for that hearing. We'll have updates as soon as they happen on air and on newsforjax.com. Live at JSO headquarters, I'm Chris Parento, Channel 4, the local station.